Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Maricola, fantasy artist and illustrator, and welcome to my Muddy Colors Art Tip of the Month. Learning to control any of your art tools is going to take dedication to repetition. It goes without saying that if you want to learn how to draw better with pencils, you'll have to draw a lot with pencils. Likewise, if you want better handling and control with your paintbrushes, you'll have to paint a lot. But there is something you can do to help advance your brush control skills at a faster rate. Take a page from Sign Painters and practice using their tools. You'll need three basic tools to begin this method of practicing brush control. The brush. Sign Painters use quill brushes. This one is made with a mix of squirrel hair and taclon, which is a synthetic hair. A lettering quill has long bristles that absorb paint really well and allow you to load up the brush, which in turn enables the paint to flow smoothly from it for longer, more sustained strokes. The paint. Oil-based enamel paints are best because they are perfectly formulated for use in sign making. The higher viscosity allows for greater flexibility and flow. The paint levels off really well, leaving little to no brush strokes, and it allows for single stroke coverage, which is the ability to get consistent coverage of paint from beginning of stroke until end of stroke. The surface. Sign painters usually paint on smooth, non-absorbent surfaces such as glass, metal, plastic, or varnished or painted wood. These kinds of surfaces help to aid in your ability to get smooth, sustained strokes that don't break apart because the paint is getting snagged on textures or soaking into an absorbent surface like paper. A great way to begin practicing hand lettering is to print out some words on paper, tape that down to your drawing table, then place a piece of tempered glass over it. The glass allows you to see the lettering, which you can use as a guide. And when you're done tracing, just wipe the paint away and you're ready to begin again. So you might be thinking, why do I need these tools, Jeff? Can't I just use my normal brushes and paints to practice my brush strokes? And of course you can, but keep in mind that short haired brushes are not designed to hold a lot of paint, which means you won't be able to get those long sustained strokes that you need for brush control. And normal oil and acrylic paints are not as forgiving as sign painters enamel paints. So in a way, Brush control is really finger, wrist, and arm control. Working with Sign Painter's tools will allow you to achieve those large gestures faster and easier, and therefore train all those muscles. If you were to practice hand lettering even a few minutes every day using these Sign Painter's tools, you'll notice a huge improvement in the control you'll have on your normal paintings using your standard brushes and paints. Thanks for watching.